So what's up guys, we are here for another Let's Play, but this time it is Dark Souls. It's not going to be a completely blind walkthrough, I have played up to the part where you go to Blight Town. Alright, you see, classic zombie. I'm a level 28, well, I'm just going to new game. I'm going to just name this, huh, what to name it? I'm going to just name it. I'm going to name it Let's Play, just so I know that it's for the Let's Play. Yeah, that's kind of a weird name. I want to be a male. Uh, let's just start off with the average class, the warrior. Now, all of these, you could basically get throughout the game. Like the old witch's ring and all that, you can get throughout the game. But the master key, I don't think you can. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to have like... Slim, because that's what I always pick. Like there's all different fighting stuff. I'm not even going to joke about that one. But, oh god. The faces look funny on this game. But, uh... You could change all this stuff if you want to. They have different hairs. Usually I just put semi, semi long, cause it, or semi long, whatever you want to call it. Because I think it looks pretty cool. And my hair is kind of like a dirty blonde, so I'm going to have light brown. And I'm going to accept to start the game. And be quiet for this. And in between. And of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Not for long. Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. 
So that was the awesome cutscene. They're also gonna have one more little cutscene that. Watch, you're gonna see. Yeah. This game is pretty hard because there is no pausing, except for bonfires or quitting the game. Yep, you're an ugly boy. So, after that long, lengthy cutscene, they start you off the game. As you see, when you press pause, it brings to this little item menu thing. You can change your equipment, browse through your items, view your stats, change options, if all that. So, since I just got that key from that dead body, I'm gonna open up the gate. Also, I don't like it because they kind of start you off with this crappy broken uh, sword hilt. So I press triangle to dual wield. Yeah, he's just kind of being a little crab, baby. Oh, he's making out with the wall. Yeah, there's also something called the backstab, but I didn't do it that time. I don't think you could actually do it to the ones that are on against the wall. And this little fellow over here, he is not friendly at all. Because on my other character, I actually tried to go fight him, and I died in like two hits. Because one thing, they make you fall from like 40 feet. And then another thing, he does a tremendous amount of damage. So. You just, just go through the other ways you can go, really. And this is what I was talking about, a bonfire. This leads you to the first, basically, sp uh, pause. So, with that all being said, oh, wait, we can't go through there yet. You have to head through these big old doors. Now you're strong. And if you can see that thing up there, wait, I gotta kind of walk in. Well, you can see that big old thing up there. It kind of looks like that demon that we saw that I said that was a big no-no. Well, he's a lot easier. So you just want to hurry up and run into this little gate over here so he can't attack you. So this leads you to the second bonfire in case you die. You have to run past him again. So yeah, every bonfire you rest at, in case you lost health, you, you rest at the bonfire, and you regain your health. And also, Estus Flask, which you're going to be getting in a few minutes. So, now with that being said, you can run through here, get your shield, and read these messages that are left by the people that actually made this game, it's not people that actually just random characters. 
Like, cause this is like an online game. It's not just some random people online. So let me just equip that. I'll show you that beloved backstab. Yeah, it kills people very, very quick. See how this dude died? Oh, he just died. Probably got shot by the bow and arrow or something. Also, you could roll, you could sprint, you could do a jump and roll. All of that good stuff. So what you want to do is come over here, kind of act like Indiana Jones. After I been rolled, I rolled out of the way and didn't take any damn health. And you press yes. I have failed in my mission, but perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family: "Thou who art undead art chosen." In thine exodus from the undead asylum, make it a pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt. So, he gives you the Estus Flask, which is basically, like, if you've seen, uh, I think, like, a TGN video, it is basically your Gatorade throughout the game. It, when you're about to die, you drink it, and you get more health. And you get the key. Now I must bid farewell. I hate to hold you after death. So, go now. So, if you want to, you could kill this guy. To get more souls, he respawns. Because you never even have to come back over here. It's like you could, but you don't really have to. You can get 100 souls from it. And so you kill him, you get 100 souls. He respawns next time you come back over here. So I'm going to just run over here, open up this gate, and rest at this little bonfire over here. So, that's it for this video, and join me for the next one. Comment, rate, subscribe, you know all the stuff if you see my other videos. So, later.